Mike, it's great to have you in studio and see you again. It great has be been here. a while. Um, so we've been talking about this. This space is ripe for consolidation. You just had so many software startups, IPOs over the last few years. But you think it's actually going to be some of these larger cap players, not the mega caps, they're going to, are going to be doing the consolidating. Yeah. I mean, I think what you see going on in the market are the large players, Google, Amazon, uh, these players that we've been talked about a little bit are trying to get into uh, go up the stack. So they've built clouds. The clouds have computing, they have storage, but they're going up and building databases and other data systems. Meantime, you have companies like Snowflake and Datadog, which are best of breed providers. Interestingly, they live on top of the cloud yes. players, right? So they sort of rent the space to, to be in their own business, but they're generally winning. And I think eventually there's going to be more and more conflict between the two. And the guys like Snowflake and Datadog and MongoDB, which are these next generation modern data companies, are going to want to expand their portfolio. They're going to want to make things simpler and more integrated for their customers. And obviously some of that will come from R&D, but some of that's likely going to come from M&A. It feels like there's a disconnect right now, though, because you saw sort of these peak share prices at the end of last year, and they've all come down. So the acquirer wants to pay that lower price, and the target, let's say some of these software companies, they don't want to sell where they are now. This is, you know, some of them are at their 52-week lows. Um, when does that start to happen? Is that why we haven't seen more M&A activity so far? When does finally these targets say, okay, we might as well sell now because it looks like it could be a hard road? Yeah, I think it's totally fair that companies that have been trading at three times or twice their valuation are sitting there saying, I don't think I want to sell at this price. Uh, I, I do think that you're going to see some privates potentially go first. And you know, obviously last week we saw the Figma acquisition, which was kind of interesting. But I think you're going to see a little bit of that. Um, but eventually these valuations will settle in and people will realize that the company is worth what it's worth, um, at which point the larger players will have an advantage to, to, to bring these companies in. Mike, to just push a little deeper on that, uh, I find this fascinating because how do you define a larger player? And in some past cycles, both in consumer and enterprise, it's been dominant players that have driven consolidation. I'm thinking about Oracle with PeopleSoft, Siebel, et cetera. Uh, you know, then Google with Blogger and YouTube and DoubleClick. But in this situation, as I believe you've alluded to, the mega caps are kind of constrained because they, they've got kind of monopoly watch on them. They're not going to be able to be the ones consolidating. So who's big enough to do that uh, but small enough not to trigger regulator concerns. Yeah, well, first, I think you're absolutely right. It's very difficult for, you know, Microsoft, uh, Google, and Amazon AWS to think about being consolidators from a regulatory perspective. They're going to be watched like hawks. Um, the players that are emerging right now, you're starting to see these next-generation modern data companies creep up from the, you know, single-digit billion market caps to... 30, 40, 50, 60 billion dollar market caps. Once you get to those kinds of numbers, you have the, the financial wherewithal to buy something. And let's say if it's a stock to stock deal, you, you know, you're giving away maybe 10 percent or 20 percent of your market cap, which is certainly a bet. It's not trivial at all, but it's definitely doable relative to, you know, being a 10 billion dollar company, in which case you're sort of hamstrung a little bit in terms of in terms of pulling something off. So it's really about the larger, bigger players that are going to start to do this. And my guess, they'll start small with some privates and some of the stuff they've already been doing, but they'll move up to bigger and bigger players.